Good morning, everybody. I'm reading today Exodus 3, verse 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him, to Moses, in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, and the bush was not consumed. When the great king Nebuchadnezzar wanted to show off his glory, he had a golden statue, 90 feet tall made, and he commanded all the people in his empire to bow down to it. When our God, the Lord of glory, wanted to reveal himself in this world, he did so in a bush to one man in a wilderness and through him to a nation and through that nation to the world, or so it should have been. How typical of the Lord to appear in such a humble context. No doubt if King Nebuchadnezzar had had the ability to do something similar, which he didn't, he would have set aflame the tallest cedar tree or the mightiest oak tree in his kingdom. And he would have done it in a very public place. But the Lord chose just a humble bush. It had nothing in itself to commend it. Its only attribute was the Lord burning in it and revealing himself, mainly through his word. The rest of chapter three and half of chapter four are taken up with words God spoke from within that bush. When Jesus came to this earth, he arrived without great fanfare. He was born so quietly and unobtrusively in that Bethlehem stable. Nearly 100% of the world population missed it. Many, many since have missed it. But he was a burning and a shining light. And we know that the Lord chooses the Arnots. He puts his fire in them. God has chosen the foolish things of the world, the weak things of the world, and the base things of the world, and the things which are despised God has chosen, and the things which are not, to bring to nothing the things that are. Amen. It is surely only when we understand that none of us is a mighty cedar swaying above the other trees. Rather, we are nothing but scraggy bushes. It's only when we understand this that we can start to be set on fire by God himself. What a wonderful privilege. He himself will be the fire within us. Amen. Have a great day.